and this is statistics DSRT 734 class. Again, this is non-parametric test continuation. In this lecture, we're going to focus on rank coalition. Uh, so our main objective is to use the Spearman rank coalition coefficient to determine whether the coalition between two variables is significant. So a Spearman rank coalition is the measure of the strength of the relationship between two variables. This is equivalent to PSC coalition coefficient we study. Uh, PSC coalition coefficient is a parametric test. Uh, Spearman rank coalition coefficient is non-parametric test. So a non-parametric equivalent to the PSC coalition coefficient. Here we're going to calculate using the ranks of pair sample data entries. Uh, we denote the Spearman rank coalition coefficient as R and small s. In our PSC coalition coefficient, we use the symbol R or denote by R. So the Spearman rank coalition coefficient RS, the formula is one minus six, the sum of d squared divided by n, parenthesis n squared minus one, we close the parenthesis. Where again, the n is the number of pair data entries. Here we are, want to find the relationship between two variables if they are significant. So n will be the number of pair data entries. Then the d will be the difference between the ranks of the pair data entry. So again, that's why the test is called the rank coalition coefficient. We are going to find the rank based on the data set given to us. So the value of RS is ranged from negative one to positive one. Same concept as PSC correlation, negative one to positive one. Negative one means there's a decreasing relationship. Positive one means, or close to positive one means there's an increasing relationship. So if the ranks of corresponding data entries are identical, then RS is equal to positive one. If the ranks are in reverse order, then the R is equal to negative one. Now, if there's no relationship, then R is equal to zero or R is equal to zero. So we can see that the concept is the same as PSC correlation. If the ranks of the corresponding data entries are identical, we have positive one, RS is equal to positive one. If they are in reverse order, then RS is negative one. If there's no relationship, then R is zero. Now to determine whether the correlation between variables is significant, we need to perform hypothesis test. So in a PSC correlation coefficient, it's not, it's not hypothesis testing. Uh, but again, Spearman rank correlation coefficient is an hypothesis testing. And here we are testing for the population correlation coefficient. But at the same time, in PSC correlation coefficient, we can also test for the row, population row also. So here we have the null and alternative hypothesis for the test uh, as follow. Uh, we say row s equal to zero, which means there's no correlation between the two variables. There's no correlation. Then if it's not equal to zero, then there's a significant correlation between the two variables. The same concept as we, we did hypothesis testing on PSC correlation coefficient. We test the population row or the population R. So let's follow the steps here. Testing the significance of CMR rank correlation coefficient. First step, we state the null and also the alternative hypothesis, which is HO and HA then we need to specify the level of significance, identify the alpha. Then we need to determine the critical value uh, using table 10. Then we need to find the test statistics. Then again, the table 10 is a, 
a special uh, table for finding the rank, uh, the Spearman rank correlation uh, coefficient critical value. And we'll see examples soon. So after we get a critical value, we'll get a test that it is, then we can make our decision either to reject or accept HO. Uh, the same concept, because when we get a critical value, that's, that's what will give us the boundary ranging for accepting or rejecting HO. Now, if the test value is either greater or less than HO, I mean the critical value, then we can either reject or accept the HO. So let's see the example here. Here they said the table shows the prices in dollars per hundred pounds received by US farmers for beef and also a lamp from 1999 to 2005. At alpha equal to 0.05, can you conclude that there's a correlation between the beef and lamp price? Lamp price. So our own is I want to see if the as the years goes, if beef increase, beef price increase, the lamp also increase or if beef price increase, the lamp price also decrease. Or maybe there's no any significant no any relationship. Yeah. So this is our data set. So the first thing we're going to do is to state our HO and HA, which we said there's no relationship or there's no coalition. There is. Then we know the alpha value already. The end value, we have to look at our data set. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So n is equal to seven. So if I know the alpha value and n value, I can use the table for finding the Spearman rank coalition coefficient critical value by going to the n and then look for the alpha. So if n is seven, alpha is 0 0.05, then the value will be 0 0.786. So here we say the critical value is 0 0.786. Now we know the critical value. Next, we need to find the test statistics. But in order to do that, we need to find our ranking. So here we have the prices. The lowest is 63.4, the highest is 110. So we start to rank it. I think the first one is the lowest. So we have one, we have two, three, four. Again, it depends on the the ranking again goes by the value. If the value is small, the rank will be small. If the value is big, the rank will be big. So we start from the lowest to the highest. So we do for the beef ranking, we can see we have one, 66.5, then 68, three, then four, five, six, seven. Uh, we don't have any same value twice. So everything is single value digits. Then we go to the lamp, the lowest value is 66.91. The next is 74.12, 74.13, and 74.14. Then we have 79.8, 5 will be 94.4, 6 is 101.0, 7 is 110.0. So here we rank from lowest to highest for beef, lowest to highest for lamp prices. Now we're going to find the D. The D will be the differences. So we can see one minus three is two, three minus four is minus one, four minus one is three, two minus two is zero, two five minus five zero, six minus six zero, seven minus seven zero. Then we square the D's, so we get four, one, nine. The sum of, remember we have the sum of this square in our formula. So sum of this square will give us 14. And actually that's the main reason why is when we look here, we have our six already, we have our N and we have our one. So the only thing we are looking for is the D square. So the only way to find the D square is do the ranking. We have to find the ranking for both the two variables, the beef and the lamp, and then find the difference of the ranks then you square the difference, then you sum all, then that will give you the sum of this square, which we have it in the formula here. So here we get 16 times 14, because the sum of this square is 14 from, again, our formula here and table, sum of this square is 14. How do we get the sum of this square? Again, 
we align, we write down the beef, the two variables are beef and lamb. We write the values down, then we rank it from the lowest to the highest, both. Then we find the D, the D will be the difference of the lowest and the highest results. Then we square the Ds, then we sum all, so that will give us some D square. So we plug it in the formula and our answer was 0 0.75. Remember our critical value is 0 0.786. And our, our vector statistics, which is RS, is 0 0.75, which means the critical value is greater than the, the test statistics. So it will be on the left side, which will be the brown region. So that means we need to accept the HO. As we said earlier, if the critical value is greater than the test statistics, then we accept HO. Or here we say fail to reject HO. If the test statistics value is greater than the critical, then we reject HO. So here we say at 5% level of significance, you cannot conclude that there's a significant correlation between beef and lamb prices between 1999 and 2005. So that would be the conclusion. So again, the steps here for doing the Spearman rank coalition coefficient, the goal of the Spearman rank coalition coefficient is to determine there's a relation, significant information that there's a relationship between two variables. So we state our HO and HA we identify our alpha, we count our sample size for each. Remember in a PSC correlation, we find we're looking for a relationship between two variables. If the first variable data is 20, the second variable also must be 20. Same concept here. So we get the N is seven. So when we know the N is seven, we know the alpha, we can go and find a critical value in the Spearman round correlation table for critical value. And that gave us 0 0.786. Then we find the test statistics, we use the formula. Now we need to find a D square. So this takes us back to do ranking. We rank our first variable, we rank our second variable. Then we find the difference of the two ranks. We square it, then later we sum it. So we get a sum D square. Now we get a value to be 0.75 for the test statistics. Since 0.75 is less than 0.786, we fail to reject HO, so we accept HO. So this will be the conclusion again of using the Spearman rank coalition coefficient. Again, Spearman rank coalition coefficient is a non-parametric test we don't assume a population size and we don't need to use any parametrics, uh, parameters. And the steps is again, this is hypothesis test. So the first thing we need to do is to state our HO and HA. The next step, we identify our alpha, the level of significance. Then the next step is to identify the size of the sample. The size of the two samples must, must be the same. We want to find the relationship between the two, again, items, two variables. So after that, we find the critical value. Since we know the sample size, we know the alpha value, we can go to the Spearman rank correlation coefficient table for critical value to get the critical value. Then we draw our graph, identify the rejection and accepted HO regions. Then after that, we find the test statistics. Now to find the test statistics, we need to rank our two variables separately from lowest to the highest. Then we find the difference of each pair. Then we square the difference, then we sum it. And that will give us the sum D square. The sum D square is inside the test statistics formula. So after we get a sum D square, we know the end value we can find again the test statistics. If the test statistics value is less than the critical value, then we accept HO. If it's greater than the critical value, then we reject the HO. So again, wish everybody the best and thank you for your time.